Lineage of Evil Strikes Again. Oh my goodness. So if you haven't heard, Claudine Gay, the president of Harvard, has since resigned, making her the shortest presidential tenure in Harvard history. There are a lot of people, a lot of white people, celebrating this, uh, this action. They're celebrating this event. And I just want to do a recap before they start to uh, do revisionist history, which is what they are accustomed to. So to break this down, the most simplest, unadulterated, purest terms, I'm going to explain to you what transpired recently. You had a group of white, racist Christians and Jews that teamed up together. That is correct. They teamed up together to attack a black woman. That is it in a nutshell. That is it. In case someone wants to ask you, hey, what happened to Claudine Gray? That's all you need to tell them. Racist white Christians and Jews teamed up to attack a black woman. I want you to think about this. When it comes to conservatives, majority of them are Christian, majority of them are white. So that's factual, okay? When it comes to white Jews, I didn't see any Ethiopian Jews, did you? I didn't see any black Jews as far as uh, uh, advocating for her to resign, did you? So, on those two accounts, because you always gonna have those people, why are you making it racial? I'm not making it racial, I'm just making an observation. That's all I'm doing. So you had white Jews, white Christians team up to attack a black woman. Get this, we can add on the basis of defending free speech. Bro, <laughs> you can't you, you can't make this up, okay? You had white conservatives and white Jews attack a black woman for defending free speech. Now, <laughs> it's not funny, okay? It would be funny if it wasn't so sad, all right? Because nothing has changed. What do conservatives always talk about? how they are just the patriots, right? Hey, we are defending the First Amendment. That First Amendment, I want you to understand, doesn't apply to the Ben Shapiro's of the world. Doesn't apply there. As you can see, when it come, came to Trump, what did Trump do? Trump was all about first free speech, free speech, up until it came to what? The Ben Shapiro's of the world. Then all of a sudden, we had a curtail, boom. We had to stop that real quick. Whoa, 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 about this free speech. That doesn't apply here to these group of people. We see that recently with Ye. So I want you to understand that these champions of free speech, because that's, that's what they believe in their delusional head, that they're champions of free speech. It's not free speech, it's their speech that they want to champion, which just happens to coincide with uh, white supremacy. But that's a term that they tried to dilute uh, over the years, but that's neither here nor there. But these champions of free speech attacked black woman for champion, actually champion free speech. I want you to understand this because I really don't think people are understanding the angle here. Now, what they try to do, they try to tack on things, you know, as they did, you know, when it comes to any black victim, right? Whether it's George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, whatever it is, they try to tack on uh, a, a way to alleviate them from any type of, uh, uh, of guilt. Not that they have it to begin with. Because you have to understand a lineage of evil, um, the slave master didn't have any guilt for doing what they did to the slave. Because they felt that was the natural, that was the natural order. But as you listen to, to Welsing, Dr. Welsing, there is a fear of extinction there. And we're gonna get to that because this is, man, this is ripe with that fear that they have. So when it comes to the, the the, you know, the mob that tried to attack her for plagiarism, which I find funny because one of the people, uh, I think his name is Cannon, whatnot, said this is not an example of plagiarism. But regardless, they tried to attack her. So it's the same thing they do to any type of black victim. The issue is not to say, hey, the, the, the white person was at fault. They will never take that position, never. As we can see with the most prominent Example of this being George Floyd. What are they saying now? Derek Chauvin was right. Yeah, Tucker Carlson come out and still still trying to relitigate what happened in court. 
Think about this. I want you to understand. So when they say, oh, it has nothing to do with race, Lucas, we have case after case after case after case after case of them showing that it does have to do with race. We don't make it racial. They make it racial. We just make an observation, okay? I'm just making an observation. That's all I'm doing of how they try to racialize crime, how they try to racialize good and bad, how they try to racialize evil. So when it comes to these, you know, these uh, BS examples of plagiarism, that's, that's not the point. The point was she was a black woman in a position of perceived power, president at Harvard. And you all know how much they, they hold Harvard dear to their heart, okay? <laughs> they hold it dear to the heart. So if you couple that with them constantly trying to undermine, subjugate, and deride black people as a whole in this country, they, what do they do? Now you have black people who, who they try to say, oh, are you a, 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 a diversity hire? Think about this. Everything has to do with their extinction. So when you have her in this position, what is that a reminder of? Think about it. What is that a reminder of for many of these white people in this country? Extinction. It's a constant reminder every single time. You notice, you notice the, the animus that is now being a, 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 a placed upon many of these predominantly black films of black actors, right? What are you hearing? Oh, look at this. Look at so. What, what do they tell us when there's a film that we think it, mm, that may be a little racially charged? What do they say to us? Hey, don't watch it. What do we? What, what do they say to us when it comes to a a, a, a business that we think may have done some uh, racial uh, uh, policies or acted in a uh, disparaging way? towards black people. What do they say? Don't go there. <laughs> now, now that the shoe is on the other foot, what are they saying? What are they screaming? Hey, she needs to resign. Hey, this movie needs to go down. Now it's no longer freedom of speech and just, hey, you don't like it, don't watch it. Now, it's, it's, they've taken it a step further because you're noticing, noticing her, their hypocrisy because there is a fear behind all of this. There is a fear of extinction. They are seeing what they view as white America is now being blackened. And that is a, that is a, a prominent fear for many, many white people in this country. So when you have a Harvard president who is a black woman, think about that. Think about that, because throughout history, what they try to say, oh, your brain is too small. Uh, they try to do this pseudoscience in order to make themselves feel superior. Now, I would argue that a group of people who have to constantly lie to others and put out propaganda in order to make themselves feel superior, well, that seems to be ironic because I would think that a group of people who are superior, well, their words and their actions and their behaviors Okay, who they are would just speak for themselves. What they have done very is very similar, I would argue, to a group of people who are in fact inferior on every count, based off of the behaviors and the actions. I'm not saying that they are, but I'm just saying if you're actually confident, a confident person wouldn't behave and do such things. Just putting that out there. So when you have this president, they had to get rid of that. Now, I would say the joke's on them, given the fact that she still could be racking in a, a, a good chunk of her salary, all right? Even, <laughs> that's, I think that's, uh, that's, that's the joke, right? It's like, oh, you, you're so fearful that what happened is, hey, she's going to get paid anyway. I want, you, I, I want this to be an example. I want you to, to just, just take in how they're talking. Oh, this is a DI, DI hire. Oh, this is a diversity hire. And just to just tackle diversity hire and whatnot, what have they made you to believe that a diversity hire is what is inferior? Hey, you're less than, you had to get on, you had to get, you needed some help. Now, look at the history of this country and who needed help. <laughs> Think about that. But at, b besides that, it's not even needed help. It's the fact that, hey, there are other black people who are qualified for this job. And due to your racism, okay, that you have precluded them from having said position. Right? Just as they've done throughout history. Hey, we can go back to the 1960s. There were many qualified black people, but due to their anti-black hatred, what? They didn't hire them. We still have this presently, where they certain names they won't look at. 
So I just, I just keep that in mind. Don't ever make them feel, make, make you feel like you're less than, because it's quite the opposite. And I'm not saying it, they're saying it. Anyways, guys, that's a video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, Lola George makes things racist, okay? It's all about race with you. Race, 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 race. Okay, she, she, she plays rise and she was, she was, a, she was an anti-Semite and, and that's, that's why she got resigned, okay? That's what happened. Or if you don't believe, okay, sure, Jen, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I just find it interesting who um, gets to be, uh, uh, I don't know, protected by free speech and who doesn't get to be protected by free speech. I just, that's always interesting to see who you can talk about and who, who you can't talk about uh, and the powers that be who protect them. Nevertheless, if you happen to disagree, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days, which are typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we duke it out. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think, whether or not you, it's a fact, of a fear there, fear of extinction, or you believe, hey, she, she just said a bunch of anti-Semitic things. That's what it was. Uh, feel free to share and subscribe and all oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. Like your lesson, because it's quite the opposite.